Hi there, it's Ken with UAV Coach. In our last video, we unboxed and described this brand new DJI Mini SE. In today's video, we're gonna walk through what it takes to get you started for your very first flight. So let's get to it. One of the first things you wanna do is make a checklist to ensure that you don't forget something. This would consist of things like checking weather forecasts 24 to 48 hours before your flight. You need at least three miles of visibility. You need clouds no lower than 500 feet above your drone and wind speed and gusts within operating range of your drone. DJI claims that the Mini SE can hover in wind up to about 22 miles per hour or 10 meters per second. You want to check your gear before heading out the door. You want to make sure your batteries are charged, your SD cards are formatted, and that you have everything you need. Then you want to check airspace requirements. Even as a recreational drone pilot, you have to abide by FAA airspace rules and regulations. We'll cover those in more detail in another video, but you do need to know if your planned flight area is in controlled airspace. At this point, we've completed our preparation checklist, so now we'll move into our pre-flight checklist. First, we'll want to inspect the drone for any kind of damage or abnormalities. Basically, just look at the drone. You want to check the propellers, see if there's any cracks or anything like that. Just kind of look at the general condition of the drone. Make sure everything looks okay. While you're doing this, first thing you want to do is remove the gimbal cover. We don't want to take off with that on. You also want to check to make sure that you've got an SD card installed. Next, we'll make sure everything is connected and that no warnings appear on the app. And then we'll proceed to calibrate the compass. DJI recommends calibrating the compass when you've gone further than 31 miles away from the last time you flew the drone. The drone has not flown for more than 30 days or if there's a warning in the app. To calibrate the compass, you click on the three dots at the top right corner of the app. From here, under the safety column, you'll see compass normal, and you click calibrate. At this point, we can start the calibration. Now the calibration is complete. Before takeoff, we'll quickly discuss joystick movement. The left joystick controls your thrust or throttle by moving forward or up and back or down. That moves the drone up, brings the drone down. The left joystick also controls yaw, which rotates the drone in place while in flight. If you move the joystick to the left, the drone ro rotates to the left, go to the right, rotates right. The right joystick controls pitch and roll. Pitch is forward and back. The drone moves forward or the drone moves back. And it also controls roll, which is moving the drone to the side, either way, left or right. That moves the drone to the left side, moves the drone to the right side. To take off, you have two options, manual and automatic. To take off manually, you first have to start the motors. And to do that, you move both joysticks down and in, like so. Take off. That starts the motors. Now to take off, you simply apply thrust upwards. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. To land, you simply hold the left joystick down. Landing. The drone will land and then the motors stop. To take off automatically, you simply press the small icon here that shows an upward arrow. Then you'll get this pop-up and you simply have to hold that 
take and off. the drone will start the, the motors has been and updated. take off. Please check it on the map. Now after you take off, you want the drone to just hover in place and you watch it just for stability, make sure there's nothing abnormal and make sure the drone's staying in place. Now we'll go through some basic controls. As I mentioned, the left stick moves the drone up and down. Now to do this, you want to do it gently. We can bring the drone down a little bit. You just barely move the joysticks. Have the drone go up a little bit. And again, the left joystick rotates or yaws the drone. So to the left, again, gently. You can see it rotate. Gently back. And it rotates to the right. The right joystick, as I mentioned, controls pitch and roll. Pitch means to move the drone forward. Or back. Again, you want to make these movements very gentle. The right stick also controls roll, which is side to side. So if I go to the right, drone moves to the right. If I go to the left, the drone moves to the left. The final flight phase is landing. Again, there's two modes to landing. One is automatic and one's manual. For the automatic mode, we use the return to home button. You push and hold. Go home. The drone then rises up to the return to home altitude, which is set in the app, and then it will return to the landing place. The return to home button also acts as landing. a flight pause mode. So during the return to home, at any time, you can pause the return just by pushing it. Landing. Then you can reactivate it. Anytime you're in an automated flight mode, you should always keep your finger close to the flight pause button just in case something's not quite right and you have to stop the drone. The landing accuracy is not perfect on these either, so you have to kind of watch when it gets ready to land and you may need to pause. Now we'll go over the manual mode, which is simply to bring the drone down with the left joystick. A secret here is to move the camera straight down and then you just move the drone till your landing spot is centered and then you can land landing very easily. That's all for this video. We will be making another video soon that will dive into more flying techniques and features in the DJI Fly app. Be sure to check out Greg Snell's video on 15 training exercises to practice. We'll include a link for that below. From all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next time. <music>